girls and guys, it is Sarah from Sarah Let's Play and today we are going to be trying some British drinks. Yes! Uh, so you guys know that I've been coming to England for quite a while now, but I kind of like to stick to my normal drinks because I'm very fussy when it comes to them. But today I was like, no, it's time for me to be brave and try some new things. So I got all of these and stuff. Ricky helped me pick them out. We're like, what are the traditional ones? So that's what we got. We got some energy drinks, some juices, some fizzy drinks. So should I just start? I think I should, but I'm so nervous. All right, so I'm gonna start with the one I'm most afraid of, which is this one here. It's Iron Brew, bruh, bruh. And it is, oh, is this from Scotland? A secret recipe. Look, I never trust anything that's a secret. I'm assuming this is just orange flavor. It has some man that's very muscly. So I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like an energy drink or a soda or a juice. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it must be something. Okay, see? That smells disgusting. This smells like, like medicine. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be disgusting. Nope. Oh god! Oh! Okay. When I was little, I used to get sick a lot, so they used to give us like something called Pedialyte, orange flavor one. That is this. That is just not good. I don't even know what that. No. No. That's just a no. Mm -mm. That's a no no. Alright, so what should we try next? Let's try this one. So this is Volvic Juice Berry Melody. Medley. Medley. Okay, I like berries and I like sparkling water. So I'm thinking I should like this. The only reason I shouldn't if it's really sweet. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that smells way too sweet. Why does everything have to be like loaded with sugar? Okay, so it's not sparkling. It's still, which is like a weird... You know when you're expecting something and then you get something different? But that's not bad. I would have preferred if it was sparkling, but I could actually drink this. This is drinkable. That one wasn't. No, no, no. Alright, so next, let's do this one, which says it's from O oh, Jamaica Ginger Beer. So technically, it's not British, but you know, they sell it at Tesco's. Okay, so I think this is gonna taste good because people go, oh, wow, it's not even open and I could smell the ginger. Okay, I like ginger tea. Okay, let's just, let's just go for it. Oh, wow. That's like you just bit into ginger. I don't know if I like it or not. It kind of is good, kind of not. But it's not beer either, okay? So don't think I'm drinking beer. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave it to me to do this. You, this, this, I feel like I have to drink more of it to see if I really like it or not. But it's not bad, it's not bad. All right, and then next we have Ribena. Okay, Ricky goes on about this. He loves it and says it's really good. Uh, it's black currant. Which, by the way, I didn't even know it was a fruit or a berry or whatever it is because I've never seen it in my life. And I tried to find it in America and I can't. So this is a juice. So there's no added preservative and no artificial flavor. Okay. That smells goodish, you know? But. Mmm! That's not bad! I think it's because it doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> it tastes like. Imagine like berries, just like a normal berry, but it's not sweet at all. Like, what was it that we just, that was really sweet. But this, this was actually good. I'm surprised. Why have you never let me try this? Because this is actually really good. All right, and then let's do this one here. This is super, oh, super, <laughs> summer fruits oasis. So I have had like the summer fruit drink, but I haven't had this one specifically. So it's strawberries and cherries and all the wonderful summer fruits that you can think of. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh there's a little bubble. Okay, whoa. That is like, you know like do they when you get like snow cones and stuff, that little juice that they squirt on there, that is like that. It smells horribly sweet. It smells like nothing but sugar, but it is not bad. This, the Ribena, and the Volvic 
thingy thingy. All tastes alike though. They all taste like different variations of sweetness. All right, and this, this, Vim Vimto, Vim 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 <laughs> it's a stew drink. It says a mixed fruit juice drink made with delicious secret Vimto flavor, sugars and sweeteners. All right, so let's open this. How do you, okay. Oh wow, that smells. Whoa, what is that smell? Is it great? Oh, this tastes or smells like. <laughs> it tastes like or smells like great flavored medicine. Let's just try it. Oh, that's awful. No, 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 don't do it. No, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, oh. It's great medicine. That's all it is. It's a great medicine. Don't let the... Well, yeah, it's just great on the picture. Green grapes, purple grapes, nasty grapes. No, no, not drinking this. This goes in the do not drink pile over here with the iron brew stuff. All right, so now we are gonna try this one, which is Tizer? Tizer? Tizer, yes. I love how colorful it is. I have high hopes, so please don't let me down. It says, the Great British Pop. Oh, so I guess this is as traditional as you get. Oh, can I smell it? It smells like sour candy, but not super soury candy. Okay. Hmm, I like that. I don't know. It tastes like an ice pop, you know, like a, like a lollipop flavored sour candy thing. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. It's just kind of in a, in a, I'll have, I'll drink you if I have to, but not if I don't. So, not bad. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, this, Lucasade. This is their version of an energy drink. So they don't, well now I see Monster and Red Bull everywhere, but you see so many people drinking Lucasade. So like athletes, you know how in America we have like, Gatorade that sponsored everything. Over here, it seems to be LucasAid. So I'm hoping it tastes good. I think I have tried this once, but I never really gave it a chance. So today is the day. So here it is. Oh, it is all its glory. So it's orange flavor, as you can see, and it's very high in glucose. It doesn't smell like anything. Hmm. Okay. The first thought that came to mind is toilet water. I don't know why, but like imagine orange juice that's diluted with like a funky water taste, like like wet socks or something. There's like this underlying nasty taste to it. And I'm sorry, and I don't mean to offend anybody because I know people love Lucasade, but for some reason, that's what came to my mind. I'll, I'll give it another try, wait. Yeah, I don't hate it. It's just, it has this, like, it's not even nasty. It's just this flavor that you get at the end of it that, you know, not really my thing, you know? <laughs> Let's try the other energy drink. Hopefully it's a lot better. Okay, so I had to cut because I have, like, I had to burp. And there was, like, so much gas inside of me from all these drinks. So right now we're going to try Relentless Energy Drink in Origin. So this must be the original one. I don't know what to expect with this one because I've never had this before. So it doesn't tell you what flavor it is. This is a journey towards artistry and committing everything for your moment in an accolade. It's... I can't read. So it doesn't tell you what it is. So let's just go for it and, and, and see what it's like. I love energy drinks. People know this. So let's try it. Smells like monster to be honest. Maybe even Red Bull. Okay, so I'll like it if it is that. Mmm. Imagine, mmm. A bit salty. So imagine taking a Red Bull, watering it down a little bit so it's not as strong, and adding some salt. But like some lime flavored salt to it. Not some like, it's not bad. Mmm. That is not bad. I kind of like this. So it's a bit like salty, but it just compares to Monster and Red Bull in my opinion. So if like those are ever too strong, this would actually be a really, really good drink. I like that. 
That was actually quite surprisingly good. So next, we still have the tango and our lilt. So let's do some lilt. Let's get our glass and pour it up, you know, because it's about to get lit. Okay, Ugh. when I first saw this, that's what I thought I said. I thought I said lilt. And I was like, oh my gosh, they're so modern over here. Okay, here we go. So I'll show you guys the bottle in a second. I just have to, you know, use all my strength to open this up. So here it is. It says totally tropical lilt pineapple and grapefruit this is taking all my muscles to hold up by the way let's just go ahead and pour it a little bit okay that's enough you know take a little a little sip just a little flavor you know nothing crazy uh all right here we go so smells like pineapple don't smell grapefruit all pineapple i love pineapple Pineapple is the greatest thing in the world. This is like pineapple soda. This is amazing. This is probably my favorite right now. I don't taste the grapefruit, which is actually quite a good thing because some people think grapefruit is too strong of a flavor. But it's just, if you love pineapple, this is pineapple soda. It tastes just like pineapple, not like fake pineapple. It tastes real and I like it because real likes real. <laughs> All right, so next, well, the last one we have is our tango, orange tango. I thought, this was like our American tango. When I was growing up, we used to have a little powder tango with the orangutan. Anybody remember this? No? Am I too old? There's a little orangutan. It used to come in like a like a Kool-Aid kind of thing. And you mix it in and it's tango. So I'm thinking it's going to taste like that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait. I can't. I need personal assistance, please. I have a professional bottle opener behind me. <laughs> Good. How the heck was that one? So this is the hardest bottle to open, as we can tell, because I opened the rest up fine. Hmm. Orange. This is really good. This is really, really good. This kind of tastes like Fanta, but a little bit more orangey, I would say, than Fanta. I like Tango. <laughs> yeah. But I kind of still feel like I taste Lucasade in my mouth and it's kind of disgusting me a little bit. Like I just keep thinking of Lucasade in my head. So you guys, that is all our drinks. I would have to say my least favorite one is definitely this one, this, this Iron Brew. Stay away, not a fan. If you are from England and you've tried this and you like it, please tell me why. <laughs> because I need to know. This was honestly disgusting. I don't know why anybody would drink that. Um, so we'll put the least favorite here. And what else did I not like? I didn't, no, no, this one, this, where is it, where is this, this Vinto, Vim, no, it tastes like spoiled weird grape medicine here, I don't like that, and then, what other, I, I don't think I hated any other one, did I? Oh, Luke is it, <laughs> yeah, I forgot about you, so these are my, like, least favorite, and I would say my most favorite would have to be definitely the Lilt, this is massive bottle, which I'm glad I got a big bottle now, because I could drink it all I want, and tango i love the tango even though it's not like our american tango that i remember Ooh, part of me is torn right now because i want to say the volvic water or the energy drink we'll go with the water we'll be healthy we'll be we'll encourage healthy behavior so i will say the volvic juice very medley so these are my favorite. I didn't like these. It was good overall. I'm glad I branched out, you know, I'm gonna try new things. Mostly probably I'll just live on Tango and Lil for the rest of my life, but I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys had fun watching. I will be doing a British sweets version of this video a bit further on down the road, so make sure you keep your eyes out for that one. But I hope you guys had fun watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!